This is Morris. And he is from... He's one of the infamous black train robbers in American history. They have a photo of him here. And a little basically story about him. I'll read it to you. He had become upset over the gun licensing fees and went postal, robbing and killing passengers and workers aboard trains. Lawmen in Alabama and Florida. Evenly, he was gunned down in a general store in Alabama. His body was taken to Pensacola where it was put to rest at the cemetery. Raised some protesters, some of the some of the body was returned to St. John's Cemetery before its commercial in a unmarked grave. Pensacola mayor opened the coffin and removed Slayer's weapons. He had a lot of guns. Slayer's story became part of folktale noted by the tra by train robber Bill. Bill's song, which evenly was sang by Paul McCartney and John Lennon when they met in 1957. His burial site was the largest forgotten until Larry, author of The Life of the Crimes of Railroad Bill, designed and purchased his tombstone. So that was really nice that they basically did a tombstone up for him. I'm going to try not to step on the grave or anything, but I, I love that they have a train on his tombstones. Really interesting. No disrespect, sir. I'm so glad that I found you today. And this is Morris, one of the infamous train robbers from his time. He passed away March 7th, 1869. The same year as my niece was born. She's half black, half Italian. <laughs>